afraid it's one of the sadnesses of life. If you want anything done, you do have to get angry. You have to cause so much embarrassment that they want you out. If it's a man, it's normally arsehole or idiot with an F in front of it. If it's a woman, I did once call one a pillard. 69-year-old John Copeman is a charming English gentleman, but mention Battersea Park and he sees red. Living across the road from the park, he's very passionate about it being a public space. He's adamant that it should never be used to host private or corporate events. Jan has spent eight years campaigning about it and is the first to admit his methods are both unorthodox and antisocial. Many people would go about life in a more gentle manner. I happen to act like a bull in a china shop. That's my way. If I didn't, nobody would. Sometimes I do get cross. Sometimes I do use quite naughty words, particularly to the men, though I have never knowingly threatened anybody with physical violence. I mean, it's one of these absurd... Hello? Oh, will you fuck off? At someone trying to sell bloody windows. <laughs> Jan's quarrel is with Wandsworth Council. At its heart is a large marquee erected in the park, which is used to stage private events. They treat it as a rather elderly whore. I mean, she's a wonderful old lady, Battersea Park, abused rotten by this council. Jan's arch nemesis at the council is Jack Adam, head of the events team. At his offices based in Battersea Park, Mr. Adam and his staff have first-hand experience of Jan's wrath. The principal type of antisocial behaviour that we get from Mr. Copeman is abusive language. Although he has been known to sort of wave his arms and throw a few things around, uh, he has been accused of criminal damage in the past. Um, so, yeah, many and many in various. But you do enjoy winding them up, don't you? Of course I do. Yes. It's a game. It's like doing the crossword puzzle. Yes. But Jan's little game has got him into a lot of trouble. First the council banned him from the park, and then they took him to court. He has a list of things which the judge proved against me. Swearing at guests arriving at a private event. I said to PC Francis, I'll arrest you, I'll arrest you, I'll return with ten black muscular men to sort you out. Making a V sign at Mr Adam, and intending to convey the message of fuck off. On a different occasion, I said to PC Sustain, who's still there, what would you do if I kicked you in the balls? Have you any balls? Palavas were definitely caused, most of them deliberately, by me. I make no bones about it. The judge ruled that Jan was allowed to go back into the park, but he has to stick to certain conditions. No physical abuse, verbal abuse, or criminal damage. If you do not obey the above order, in other words, if I breach it, I will be guilty of contempt of court and I may be fined or sent to prison or both. Jan was determined to show he was a good person outside the park, so he wanted us to meet his neighbour. Bring the camera and you can do it as we open the door. Come on, come on, Vicky, let's see. Are we off? I don't think she's in. She's not in. Oh, Brona! Listen, it's Jan. Listen, can you open Fort Knox for one minute? I don't want to embarrass you, but there's a sweet, very charming film crew here. Well, it doesn't matter about that, Brenna. Just say Jan is a nice chap and he lives next door. I can't possibly, Jan, because I'm really, honestly, not yet. Can you just wait sort of a quarter of an hour? Can you wait a quarter of an hour? They'll come back quarter of an hour. We're going to have a cup of tea. Brona, I'm sorry. This is, listen, it's only going to take ten seconds. Honestly, I really am just about to off my head. Oh, well. And it only takes me five minutes to get back ten. Do you mind? Not at all. You see the problem with women, don't you? 
You're a woman, you poor thing, your poor husband. You see how it is that we, with women in the army, no battles are ever fought because they've all got to do their hair or they've got to change their knickers or they've, they've left their ammunition behind or they haven't got the key for their tent. Are you a bit sexist, Jan? Of course I am. <laughs> Sixty-nine-year-old Jan has an injunction against him, controlling his antisocial behaviour. Over the past eight years, he's been engaged in a dispute with the council over their use of Battersea Park. Like Corporal Jones, I realise that they do not like it up em, and I am not bothered about shoving it up em. What people think of me is absolutely no interest to me whatsoever. It was puzzling why, age 69, this one issue should form such a large part of Jan's life. But then his past started to reveal itself. I met my wife on a boat going from somewhere to Japan. We used to write from time to time. And then very bravely she got a, she got a job in San Francisco. And then very bravely, so I'm telling you to get married, she came over here Never having been out of America in her life before, once well, she'd been to Japan, of course, was very brave. She had a big chance, didn't she? Wasn't that sweet? And then we, we got married, and then she died very young, which was sad. So did you bring up your sons on your own? So I had, yes. Yes. Being a single parent, my children, I have always felt guilty that all my friends' children went to these very nice schools and things and had very nice sort of other homes and all that sort of stuff, and my kids did not. And there was not a lot I could do about it because I was saying I eke a living, I don't actually make a great bundle of anything. So their childhood was very largely spent in Battersea Park, and it is worth preserving. That's all. And it was certainly my children's childhood. Jan's passion for the park ran much deeper than simply a fight with the council to while away time. It's a symbolic and intensely personal place for him. Tonight, there's a private event on in Battersea Park, and Jan is on his way to stage one of his regular one-man protests outside the gates. If I was younger, I would not have either the inclination or the stubbornness because there is an element of stubbornness in all this, to do it. Can I go? OK? That's all there is to it. little saying I was told some years ago, which I believe, and it's written on my heart, goes, the dogs bark and the caravan moves on. I don't wish to hold it back. I'm simply watching, I'm too, I'm not a part of it. It's not my life anymore. It's my children's life. All that out there, it, it, it's their turn. And I've had my way. This is a lovely park. I'm glad you saw it this afternoon. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for coming. Do you know what I'm going to have for my supper? I'm going to have beans on toast and a poached egg. Oh, that's another treat. Oh, it's quite simple.